Hey, what is up you guys? I hope you're all doing well. I am just chilling here on this Friday afternoon and I finally have time to film a video. My life has just been like so busy recently. I was in Vegas last weekend, which I didn't vlog because I was with other people, but it was super fun. And if you want to see all my pictures from that, um, follow me on Instagram. I'll put the little thing here. Just a little self promo because um, yeah, I got so many like cool pictures. It was really fun. But today we are going to do the second tomb around tag and i was tagged by beautiful bookworm thank you so much everyone go check her out links in the description as always and this is just a nice easy video talking about you know secondhand books and my thoughts on them and everything to do with that so before we start please like subscribe you know the usual stuff um it means a lot to me and let's get started so i have the questions written i'm so like basic I feel like other YouTubers would just have like things set up properly. <laughs> I have got like little notes written. Like it's 2019, tw almost 2020, and I'm like handwriting notes. But anyway, okay, so the first question is do you buy second hand? And for me, the answer is straight away yes. Almost every book I buy is second hand. I spend a lot of time on. Well, actually, there's a question about where. But yeah, I just don't like paying full price for books because most of the time I only read them once, especially if it's something you don't even know if you're going to like. Um, I also use the library a lot back home. I use the library like every week. I never really buy books full price. The only recent, because, because I read a lot of older books as well, the only more recent book I've bought and like read was Supernova. Because for classics and stuff like that, they're all in the libraries. They're so like, there's so many editions of them. You can find them cheap, like really easy. So second question is, what is your latest purchase? And my latest purchase, to, oh my God, I can't speak. My latest purchase was Supernova by Marissa Meyer. And I've done a full video talking about it. I absolutely loved it. Um, you should check that out. Probably put the link in the description as well. And yeah, it was amazing. And that, was something about full price because it was just like brand new I pre-ordered it but before that I'd done a little mini secondhand book haul in LA and there's a video for that as well I feel like I'm just promoting everything but yeah so that was all secondhand books I bought there and most of them were good condition and that leads us on to question three which is what condition do I find acceptable and for me it doesn't really matter for example, in LA, I bought One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and I didn't actually look inside, which was a beginner's mistake, but the first few pages, um, let me get to it, yeah. So this book already has some drawings in it, so for example, like this is like actually meant to be there. And the first few pages, someone's like scribbled all over, and... If the whole book was like this, obviously that would not be acceptable, but it literally stops, like page 10, there's no, there's no more scribbles. So for me, that's fine. Like, I would rather pay a really cheap price and have like someone doodle in it than pay an extra, I don't know, $5, whatever, for no scribbles. I also think in a way it brings characters to the books and I think it's really interesting when you find books that people's names written in the start or like um, it's like being a present and someone's wrote like two blah 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 um, especially older ones with the dates I think that's really interesting and like with this for example and other classics a lot of the time there's well this one not really it's just scribbles but a lot of the time there's notes written um, because people have been like analysing for a class and then got rid of the book afterwards because they don't care about it so I think it's really interesting to just see like how someone's written in the book as they've been reading it and I don't know, I just think that's kind of fun. But obviously they are kind of bad condition, but also that's why they're cheap. So yeah, I don't really care about the condition that much, as long as I can still read the book. So the th next question is, after I read a book, do I keep it or donate it? And personally, I keep all my books because I don't actually own that many because I use the library so much. I actually don't buy that many books, even second hand I don't buy that many books, so I don't have like 
huge bookshelves like other people do. Um, I don't have like storage boxes full of books I'm never gonna look at again. For me, buying books has been over like the last year, quite a recent thing. So I don't actually have that many that I feel the need that I need to get rid of them to have space for new ones. I am fine with just having them there. Next, favourite place for secondhand books. So in the UK there's Oxfam bookstores which are really good and you can find really good deals there. They also have just like one pound book shelves and things like that and you find like really good stuff on there. I found Crime and Punishment on a one pound book shelf for well, one pound obviously and that's like a really like good classic which I haven't read yet but you know it's like well renowned. Also, always like every every Twilight book is always on the one pound bookshelves because there are like so many of them and they just want to get rid of them. And then online, there's World of Books, which does free shipping in the UK and America. I'll put their link in the description as well, and like over here, this is not sponsored, but like I buy a lot of books from there because you have really really good deals, and it's free shipping. Next, a uh, hardback or paperback. Personally, I prefer paperback, but if the hardback is for some reason cheaper, I will buy that. But yeah, I always buy paperback. I find them so much easier to read. Um, I have been known to, you know. Sometimes go like this, which I know a lot of people hate. But I always read like in bed, like kind of lying down and stuff. So, you know, it's just so much easier to read a uh, paperback than it is a hardback in those situations. Next question, have I found any real gems? Um, I'm not sure about this one. I mean, I found like some good classics, like for example, Crime and Punishment with like one pound, which is really cheap. Is that a real gem? I don't know. I haven't even read it. But it was a really good deal. Like I found a lot of really good deals. I went to another charity bookstore in the UK once and bought like was it like six or seven books for like two pounds or something like that. Like something ridiculous. And half of them I probably wouldn't even read, but they were all like books I'd heard of and like was interested in. So I was like, you know what? For that price, you might as well buy them. The last question is to tag some people and I did not prepare this in advance, so I will put people's names on here, where my fingers are pointing, and I will also just open up if anyone wants to this tag, obviously anyone can do it. And I think that's everything I have to say. I hope you've enjoyed this video, please let me know your thoughts on paperbacks and hardbacks and secondhand books, etc, etc, and the comment section, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please, again, like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram. I post really fun pictures of me. Um, I'm so self-centered, I know. But yeah, okay, bye.